Future Production. How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser and here's the model C3. It has a waterproof exchangeable lens for a 90 degree or 120 degree angle. Engine starts, recording starts, parking mode and motion detection, 700 milliamp hour battery for up to 80 minutes of recording in 1080p for up to 32 gigabytes. And I'ma let it's myself explain this thing. without having a voiceover angry. in the next following clips. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. The whole unit itself feels really, really light. But it is aluminum, so you're not getting plastic all over this device. We have three buttons in the front, which is record, mode, and power on. With a light indicator. On the left side, we have the ability to turn on the light. That is the recycle, so if the memory card gets full, it'll record over the old ones. And that's just until it fills up. So it won't record over the old ones. And that's pretty much all the buttons it has. In the back, it has a different kind of charging. It charges through the HDMI port, so micro SD won't charge to it. And then we have this very, very long stretch of a cord. It's probably a good 10 feet. And this is meant for wiring it up to your car. So you can have it all the way up to the back of your car for rear bumper, dash cam. Really long, so whenever you power your device on, It'll turn on and start recording, so whenever you have it plugged in to this, you'll just plug it in, put it in your cigarette lighter, plug this end into there, set this anywhere you like. This has an orientation sensor, so if you start recording with it upside down, it's going to record the video upside down. If you're going to record, make sure you start it up this way, and then you can move it around like crazy. So what I'm going to test here is I'm going to start this upside down. So I'm gonna press the power. And it should be recording now. It's blinking. So I should be upside down. Press that once, it starts recording. So now I'm gonna press record again with it up. And now I should be the upright position, right? Hopefully. Now you charge it, we had a little light indicator right there. It's red, I don't know if you can see it shining red. It might look orange to you. It didn't come with a memory card but I am using a Sony Micro SDHC. I don't use anything lower than class 10 on any of my devices. 32 gigabytes. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have to have it plugged in. So what is it gonna record if I don't have it plugged in? The camera itself is right here, which is wired, right? I will take it off my helmet for now. It is pretty strong, this clip came with it that we have around, let's see, ooh, three feet? It's in the description, but you know how I like to do is just open stuff and not read any manuals. The so remote lens can be 1.5 meters or 2.5 meters long. So obviously, we should plug this in. There is the microphone pinhole. Now here's a tricky part right here. Little notch up there. Let me see if I can get up close to it. This little tiny bump there is the way of pointing out that it's upwards. And you will see little scuffs there because it's me pulling on and off of my helmet. But it is metal. This thing is not plastic. It feels solid. And I haven't taken it off. Whew. It's kind of scary. I actually don't want to take it off. Right here. It's tricky because since I have this clip, once you put it in, you got to make sure that this is going to go in in the right direction. So it's pretty stuck in there and then it's kind of hard to move once it's already stuck in there so it's not going to wiggle around that's a good thing but you want to make sure that it's perfectly aligned where you think it's like upright or else your videos are going to be kind of like sideways but this mount also has a little you know 
rotation clip. We have a microphone here that can also attach to the charging spot. Remember, the microphone is already internal and this is an external connecting microphone. So let me do a test with the microphone. This is a test using the internal microphone. I am probably a good two feet at most away from the microphone. What now I'm gonna do is plug in this lively and that should have switched over. So maybe we can see the different quality sound. Here is a little microphone, comes with a little cuff. I can mount it right here. So now I have my voice shooting forward, but it's still gonna be hearing it from this area or mount it and use it as that. So you see, you got an external microphone that you can put inside of your helmet as you're driving around. So that's from this mic, unplug, and it should switch back to this as you hear me tapping on it. Here's the AV TV out put. So if you want to watch this on your TV, sure you can use the HDMI ones, but this is what it came with. Then you got your bicycle handle holder, which comes with this little attachment here. And we're going to slide this in there, locks into place, and that's on your handlebar. So you got you could rotate another little dock here where you could just screw this on if you see right under here there is one of these where we could you know screw this on if we wanted to if we take off this little belt clips with these screws there now we'll just slap this in there and you have a handy dandy little belt clip and then we have this little mechanism here which will be able to mount on top of your head. You'll have a side burn perspective. This already has the attachment right here, which also rotates. So how that will work, make sure it's gonna be upright. I'll probably add a little marker on here so I know it's up. It just gets on there really tight. Once you call that good, you'll be able to do something like this. Adjust left and right. Now I'm going to press power and I should be recording right now. I'll be able to, you know, run around, do, if I start, <laughs> I'm not doing anything but just acting like a monkey in here, but you know, it, it stays on pretty tight, doesn't feel like it's going to fall off, so now I'm just going to walk out. <sighs> Yeah. Oops. Forgot I'm still recording up here. And it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It feels pretty good. What is this? Oh yeah. This is the configuration tool. And out of the box, if you don't configure any settings with the software that is not included that you have to kind of fish for, I will include it in the description below. What we have to do is hold the power for three seconds and the light will turn on. It's red in my eyes, but my camera shows it orange. Turning on a camera automatically starts recording 1080p at 30 frames per second at video default. That is without messing with the settings. It's not recording right now because the lens is not attached. And now let's plug this back in, three seconds, and it should start blinking and recording automatically. As you see, there it is. And press the video camera to stop. And if you press into mode, the green one is for 720p and 60 frames per second. And if you press one more time, you will get into the orange. And the orange is to take photos. So we can slap a photo right there. And those are photos being taken. And then you have this mode where it's the G sensor. So when it detects motion, it's going to start recording. And that's recording right now. As you see, it slowed down. Very easy to use just to remember. There's this pamphlet right here that'll tell you regardless. And another cool thing is that you can use this as a webcam and it'll tell you how to upgrade the firmware, GUI upgrading, and more accessories if you would like. Make sure you read this so you can figure it out. Once you got the software downloaded, from the top left, you will see that there's a date setting. It's not, of course, on the right date, so you'll have to adjust that. And to disable or enable is in there. And the recording indicator, you see that's on enable. If you don't want it to record right away when you power it on, you can disable it. Enable, disable the sound. 
motion detection, the frequency is 50 or 60 hertz, you got TV mode, and in the second column where it says Kulu's your tech, that is a logo stamp, only if you have the day stamp enabled, you'll see that next to it. You can choose your photo sizes, saturation, continuous shot, a and B, I have it on auto for the day and night balance. So you do have a time lapsing where it'll take a picture every 5, 15, 30, or 60 seconds. Video clip length, you can choose if you want it to be in one minute increments or up to 30 minute increments. And I like to have it either at three or five because the files don't get big. So if you record for 50 minutes straight, it'll split that whole entire video into three minute increments or whatever the clip length you selected. And then you got the EV light balance, it's at zero. You might want to adjust that depending on cloudy days, indoor, night time, you know. Video default, which is on 1080p, 30 frames per second. And if you wanted to record automatically in 720p, you select that. The G sensor sensitivity, which is on normal if you put it on high, so it detects movement. Power off delay, which it will turn off in a minute if you don't have it recording or pressing any buttons. And shooting delay, so it's no shooting. It's going to record right automatically as soon as you press it. As you can see at the very, very bottom, it says create configuration file. And then you can save to the camera and there's an exit. So you want to press create configuration file and you'll press save to the camera and you'll either have to drag the file into the SD card and you can exit anytime. Once you plug in your SD card, your unit will automatically update the configuration settings and delete the file so it won't have to like keep updating every single time you power it on. So you're good to go from there. Also, you can share and get rewarded. It's simple and easy. Upload your Inov videos to YouTube, send them the link. And if Inov selects your video, you will be rewarded with a free 16 gigabyte micro SD card. That's pretty much it. I forgot to turn off my other camera, but I'm taking this time to let you know that from here on, you're gonna see nothing but test footages all recorded with this Inov Model C3. And you might hear me pop in and out explaining some things. And after the video, if you decide to pick one up, make sure you use my promo code. This is what it'll look like on your checkout. It'll have the Cool Loser next to it with a $5 discount. All right, I'm recording. And this is the stock mic. It is 5.49. I got to get to my boxing class. Hopefully that's a good angle right there. The unit is inside my front pocket of the jacket. So I, as I walked around, you can hear wiggling around through a microphone. What I should have done is clipped it on the side maybe so I don't have all those wiggles. But that's only if you're doing it this way, which you probably won't be. Most of my test samples are during nighttime because that's when I really leave the house. But it's always dark around 5 p.m. until summertime is when we have light until 8 p.m. On the plus side, since it's night out, although like I mentioned before in other sport cameras reviews, is that these aren't meant for low light recording. They're meant for daytime use. But nonetheless, it records really well at nighttime, I say. After boxing practice, I was super hungry. I had to stop by Burger King and use my coupons and order me some quick fast food. You already know. So good. So as I'm almost home, I go by this park that I live next to in the parking lot area. All of a sudden, I see my roommate. He was walking the dogs. <laughs> and I have How'd my. How'd you camp. know that was me over there? I didn't know. Well, what the f were you doing in the park then? What were you doing in the park? I'm just testing the camera. Oh. Can you even see anything? Yeah. Can you see my drunk ass right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's make sure. So anyways, as I get home to eat my BK, of course I do my normal ritual: fries and burger. Mmm. You can see me here having a food gasm. And after this shot, I'm gonna go into the head unit when I go to the car show here next. But firstly, without wearing them like headphones, where you just rest them on your neck and your shoulder area, just to see if I could get it to work that way so it's not like all on my face. But then eventually I start hooking it up to my ears like headphones so I can get like that side burn eye angle view. And now it was pretty loud in there and it felt muffled in there regardless, but the recorder itself is attached to my hip to the clip and it was covered by my shirt and sweater, so that might have made a little difference in muffling things. But you're gonna hear some clips out when I'm next to the speakers where they're using microphones and bumping music, and you can hear how much clearer and better it sounds. All you have to do is come see myself or see any product specialist. That's, there we have the test drive sign up there. All you're gonna do is you're gonna come see us. We're gonna send you a certificate with your name saying that you are here at the Portland Auto Show. She 
loved my camera. She thought I was cute. So even the ladies love it. So think of all the possibilities you can use with this nice little snake camera. Clip them on your hat maybe, uh, mount them on guns. There's a lot of possibilities that you can use this camera because of the sleek narrow design. So it has this low profile ability instead of just one boxy little square. I hope you guys don't know what I'm trying to say. It has a better way of setting up a multi-angle hard to reach places maybe you can't fit a little square into somewhere while I was editing this video I was really impressed with the quality the color seemed right and if I have to point out a negative about it is the light metering where sometimes if it's dark and there's something really bright like a window it dims everything down or if it's really bright mode scene or whatever it kind of flickers once in a while but it's not like it's happening all the time and that could be adjusted in the settings for the night and day mode that I provided in the uh, configuration tutorial included in this video so you want to mess around with that it might take a little bit but hey at least it's there to you know alter it better than what I recorded with so what do you guys think if this is a really good video camera for you you have any more questions feel free to ask me even contact Inov on the website that I'll provide in the link in the description and as always please like share this video and don't forget to spread the word of the cool loser once again thank you for watching here is the coupon code 73F93FFO for that $5 discount it helps you it helps me it helps them everybody wins so let's do it to it link in the description I hope you guys enjoy your new camera until next time